morning. Welcome back to Study Christ. I'm Char, or you can call me Charlene, and that's C-H-A-R or C-H-A-R-L-E-N-E. -E. And we're going to go ahead and study the Bible. We're going to hop into chapter 36. I am recording this on Thanksgiving morning. Um, been avoiding this chapter. I'm going to be very honest. There's a whole lot of names in here, and even after... I listened to the audio in two different translations, NIV and ESV. I'm still like, huh? <laughs> Some na names and pronunciation just do not stick. And that's just an issue with me. Like, um, I, it's something I just have to endure and keep going. Like, I don't want to stop. But I ain't gonna lie. I could have been recorded this chapter, but I kept putting it off. But I ask that you guys please be patient with me. As I try to get through this particular chapter and yeah so let us pray Lord God I truly thank you for this day I thank you for all your blessings I thank you for um I just thank you for you being who you are Lord God and I thank you for our sweet fellowship I thank you for this channel I thank you for all my subscribers I thank you for the word I thank you for the ability to read the word Lord thank you for making me as you did I thank you for all your creations. Lord, help me to be content with how I am. Lord, where there's a need for help and improvement, help me, Lord God, so that I can get this task done in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yeah. yeah. Here we are. NIV. <laughs> Chapter 36 in Genesis. This is the account of the family line of Esau, that is Edom. Esau took his wives from the women of Canaan, Ada, daughter of Ellen, the Hishite, Aholibama, daughter of Anna, and granddaughter of Zibion, the Hivite, also Basman, daughter of Ishmael, and the sister of Nebiah, Ada, boy Eliphaz, Eliphaz to Esau, Basma bore Ruel, and Aholibama bore Jishu, Jalem, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau, who were born to him in Canaan. Esau took his wives and sons and daughters and all the members of his household, as well as his livestock and all his other animals, and all... the goods he had acquired in Canaan and moved to a land some distance from his brother Jacob. Their possessions were too great for them to remain together. The land where they were staying could not support them both because of their livestock. So Esau, that is Edom, settled in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of the family line of Esau, the father of the Edomite in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, the son of Esau's wife, Ada, and Reel, or Reel, the son of Esau's wife, Basma. The sons of Eliphaz, Timon, Omar, Zeppo, Getham, and Kenes. Esau's son, Eliphaz, also had a concubine named Timna, who bore him Amalek. These were grandsons of Esau's wife, Ada, the sons of Reu, Nahathan, Zerah, Shema, and Meza. These were grandsons of Esau's wife, Basma, the sons of Esau's wife, Aholibama, daughter of Anna, and granddaughter of Zibion, whom he bore to Esau. Jish Jeshu, Jalem, and Korah. These were the chiefs among Esau's descendants, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, chiefs Taman, Timon, Omar, Zepho, or Zepho, Zepho probably, uh, Kenaz, Korah, Gatham, and Amalek. These were the chief descendants from Eliphaz and Edom. They were grandsons of Ida, Ada. The sons of Esau's son, Reel, Reel, 
Chief, Naheth, Zara, Zara. That's another thing too, excuse me, that it, it's masculine, they're sons. So, and I keep wanting to make it sound feminine, but that's actually helping me when I'm thinking about it. It's probably Zira, or Zara, Shema, and Miza. These were the chief descendant, descended from Ril and Edom. They were grandsons of Esau's wife, Basima. The sons of Esau's wife, Aholabama, chief, chiefs, Jeshua, Jelam, and Korah. These were the chiefs descended from Esau's wife, Aholabama, daughter of Adon. These were the sons of Esau, that is Edom, and these were their chiefs. These were the sons of Zir, the Horite, who were living in the region Lothan, Shoba, Zibion, Anna, Dishon, Ezar, Dishon. So Dishon and Dishon. These sons of Seir and Edom were Horite chiefs. The sons of Lothan, Horai, and Haman, Timnah, was Lothan's sister. The sons of Sh Shoba, Avon, Menaheth, Ebal, Shephel, or Shephel, and Onam. The sons of Zibion, Ai, 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 and Anna. This is the Anna who discovered the hot springs in the desert while he was grazing the donkeys of his father, Zebian. So, this obviously was significant. The children of Anna, Dishon, and a holy Bama daughter of Anna, the sons of Dishon, uh, Dishon Himden, Ishban, Ithran, and Koran. The sons of Ezar, Bilhan, Zavan, and Akan. The sons of Dishan, Uz, Uz, Oz, I think it's Oz, and Aran. Because I remember reading it, I mean, listening to the audio, and I'm like, I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Um, that might be one I actually look up. If y'all hear my stomach, I'm sorry. Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> like, the hardest thing is cooking and not touching, for sure. We get a lot of questions about... There was a man named Job who lived in the land of Uz. He was blameless, a man of complete integrity. Oz, I guess, Oz. These were the Horite chiefs, Lothan, Shoba, Zibian, Anna, Dishan, Ezer, Dishan, Dishan, and Dishan. These were the Horite chiefs, according to the divisions in the land of Seir. Verse 31. Make sure I'm in the view, because I have not been checking, I'm sorry. These were the kings who reigned in Edom before... Any Israelite king reigned. Bela, son of Behoah, became king of Edom. His city was named Deneva. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah, from Bozrah, succeeded him as king. When Jobab died, Husham, from the land of the Temanites, succeeded him as king. When, excuse me, when husband died, Hayden, son of Bidad, or Hadad, son of Bidad, who defeated Medan in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king. His city was named Eveth. When Hadad died in Sama from Mezraka, succeeded him as king. When Seba died, Shel from Rehoboth on the river succeeded him as king. When Shel died, Bahana, son of Asbor, 
seated him as king. When Bel, Hannah's son of Ekwar died, Hadad succeeded him as king. His city was named Po, and his wife's name was Mehetebel. 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 Daughter of Mathred, or Margaret, the daughter of Mezeheb. Zeheb. These were the chiefs descended from Esau by name according to their clans and religions. Timnah, Eva, Jetheth, Aholabama, Elah, Penan, Kenans, Timon, Mezvah, Medel, and Aram. These were the chiefs of Edom according to the settlements in the land they occupied. This is the family line of Esau, the father of Adamite. Ooh, we made it. I'm sorry. I know that was rough. I wholeheartedly encourage you to disregard this chapter from me and read it in um, or audio. If you are like me and you have issues, please do the audio because and do it until it clicks. That's what I would say. Just keep doing it. Because one thing about it, when I've read through Genesis plenty of times, a lot of stuff is repetitious as far as names. Like it's the same people connecting to the same people. And that's going to flow with you throughout the entire Old Testament because it's a genealogy of how we got from the first man to Christ. So a lot of repetition thing. And that will actually help to keep seeing it too. So I, I'm I'm praying that this time around that I'm more mature in the area, like I'm not just skimming and scanning, that I actually take time and try to pronounce that the names will actually stick with me. But all right, Whew. that's it, y'all. See y'all in the next video for chapter 37. That is obviously much easier. <laughs> Love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.